All right, you Libras, how y'all doing? So you have the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and then you Libras have the Knight of Swords. So these three cards right here for you Libras speak to how you, um, once again, your foundation is good. You will be in a relationship only if it is reciprocal, right? The two of you actually are showing 50-50. The two of you actually are showing some form of interest. It can't just be you are the only person putting in the work. Um, a lot of you Libras have also worked out the need to constantly be with someone, right? Even when you're not necessarily at your most healthy and prepared, you've worked that out. So the thing is, is that now these three cards, right? The Knight of Swords, um, it speaks to how, okay, that's good. That's good. It speaks to how you Libras essentially have recently met somebody and the two of you just began talking. Um, it's not anything that has that has went on for a particular long period of time. More than likely, it probably just started this week. Right. Or I should say since because it's Monday. But I mean, like in the span of a couple of days, a, a few days is what I'm talking about. Right. Um, several days, not much, but a couple. And the thing is that for you, Libras, right, um, so far, so good, right? Uh, so far, so good. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. They're showing you a lot of good traits. They're showing you a lot of um, traits that a person who's going to be in a successful relationship should have. Um the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This person hasn't shown you that they're broken uh, as of yet, right? They're showing you that they're very much so healthy. And see, these types of relationships where a person is showing you that they're healthy, those are the type of relationships that you got to pounce on because the the dysfunction the dysfunction outnumbers, and that's how it that's how it usually is, right? The, the good side, right, usually has the lesser numbers. That's how it usually is. You see it even in movies, right? The, 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 the bad side has a tremendous amount of people, and yet the good side has very few individuals. Sometimes two people can take down whole armies of 20, 30, 40, 50 people in the movies because it's trying to show you that when it comes to good versus good versus um evil right in the sense of like stuff like this the side this a lot of people they they want to be on the bad side now i'm saying all that to say this is what relates to what i was just talking about with people who are lions versus hyenas lions are vastly outnumbered by hyenas the majority of people on earth are hyenas they're not striving to do well they're not striving to do well then they're not you know they're essentially striving to be indecent but you do have but but there is a but you do have a lot of lions though they are just outnumbered with as far as sheer numbers with hyenas so when you Libras get yourself into a situation with this person, you really got to cherish this person. As long as they don't start showing you any kind of hyena nonsense, you really do have to cherish this a person, cherish them and pounce on it. Really take this opportunity seriously because you may never get an opportunity like that to be with somebody as decent like this again. Now, I'm not saying that this person is the one. I'm saying so far... The, the the move is for you to not fumble it by start doing anything hyena stuff, right? I'm not saying that you would, but I'm saying that I'm, I'm putting you back on course because things between you and this person seem to be working out quite well. So the justice and the Knight of Pentacles represents how a lot of you, a lot of you are going to do your best. The justice is you. So you're definitely, it's you Libras. So you showed up in your own reading. You're definitely going to try your best. You're going to do, you're going to try your hardest. You're going to do your best. Um, love is blind. So 
you Libras, the person that you thought, the person that you thought that this individual was gonna be, the person that you Libras thought that this individual was gonna be is not who they actually are. They're much better. You thought that this person was gonna be bougie. You, you, maybe this person, you don't necessarily really uh, think of this person as being a supermodel, right? You know, cause, cause Libra, you know, y'all love supermodel type people, right? But, or at least that's the facade that you put up, that you do. Um, but this person is not necessarily who you expected. They're not what you expected. They're not who you expected. You expected them to wanna use you and treat you like trash and, and flip whatever kind of situation that they could, that they would, right? And and on top of that, right, they their mentality stinks, right? The way that they go about things are warped. That's not what it is that's happening so far. So far, again, the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, seem things seem to be working quite well this person seems to have a good head on their shoulders they're not bringing you drama see this is what high quality relationships look like this is what high quality relationships look like this is what they look like you know and how i was able to figure that out is is i've when i look at it i have messed up a couple of good relationships particularly okay no I haven't I haven't been in any good relationships a lot of the relationships are dysfunctional I would try to essentially make relationships peaceful but they wouldn't be, they, they would end up not being peaceful, whether it was based upon what they did or what I did. Now, when it comes to potential good relationships, I've never been in one person. The good that I thought that I just said was good was what I essentially established. It's what they were showing me some wildness that they were hyenas and I was trying to make it better. But I was also talking about at the very beginning when things are good. I was talking about at the very beginning, things are good, but I was also talking about at the very end when me and the person ended up having to separate how they wouldn't make my life terrible leaving. And, and or I should say both of us separate. But I understand what a good relationship looks like. And I don't have to necessarily, even though I've never necessarily been in one, even though I would like one, is because it's common sense, right? Like I am, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I could spaz out, crash out and everything like that. Cause people know me, right? They know me, but at the same time, people in my neighborhood, they know, they know that I'm not a punk, right? So they know that I got hands, right? The point that I'm trying to make here is instead of me doing that, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to be quite peaceful when it comes to relationships. If I don't have a reason to spaz out, nine chances out of 10, I'm not gonna do that, right? To be more fair, eight to nine chances out of 10, I'm not gonna do that. But the point that I'm trying to make here is when it comes to being in a functional relationship, it's common sense. Like, don't do anything that's that's gonna cause unnecessary mischief. It's common sense. It's like, why would I? So it's the same thing for this person is what I'm getting at. This person so far is using their common sense and the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. You're still looking at it. You're still looking to see if they'll show you. Now that's a good thing. You should be still looking. Don't ever stop looking. But the point that I'm trying to make here with that is don't ever stop looking from the perspective of this. Cause let me, I, I wanna give it context. Don't ever stop looking from the perspective of if they show you dysfunction, then you address it. But if they do not show you any dysfunctions where 
they they're coming to you correctly if they do not if they don't show you dysfunctions then relax if they start showing you some funny business now your ears need to perk up you need to become much more alert right because i'm telling you this because i don't want you to be paranoid now why that's important in the first place is because the queen of swords you're still looking for something so i'm saying only look for it when something weird comes up that's when your ears are supposed to go up that's when your lion ears are supposed to go up you're supposed to pop up and pay attention that's when you're supposed to become more alert as to what's going on so so the ace of cups other than that you're supposed to relax and enjoy yourself you're potentially you're so far so good i can't i'm not speaking for the entire relationship but i un, but i also understand that even though things are good that's how it is that the majority of relationships work they're amazing at first because the person even though they play in games they want to make the best impression so that they can get you to lower your guard but we need to examine this so let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the uh the ace of cups okay Ace of Cups, again, Ten of Swords, the Chariot, the Empress, which is Libra, and then you have the Six of Pentacles. So far, so good. This person is willing to actually uh, invest. This person is willing to, you know, these slang terms, but you know, this person is willing to invest. They're willing to actually six of it, cause this is the six of pentacles. They're willing to be reciprocal, okay? The empress, they're not trying to be in a relationship with you for anything petty. Uh, the chariot, they're asking you questions and being inquisitive, trying to find out more about you. 10 of swords, right? And they, and they, and, they understand that the two of you have been through some messed up relationships because everybody has. That's the truth. If you out here, you dating, you've been 100%. You've been through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some people have been through more than others, for sure. But you've been through some stuff. You're not getting out of this unscathed. You, that's why it's called healing. You, 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 you get dealt a wound, right, emotionally, and that you have to nurture and heal that wound back to health right and i.e yourself so the thing about it is that um they they're serious minded about you so you just have to be careful again to not mess it up don't be over paranoid to the point where you think that they're always up to something but then at the same time put yourself in a position where as long as you don't see anything messed up you don't have to be so on alert so that's it that's uh that's it yeah that's it that's all it is i have for you for today I'm trying to make my youtube channel grow to 100k subs i'm at 14,600 and change smash the subscribe button smash the like button hit the notification bell set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever i drop my videos